So in this video, we're going to go from Google Earth to a 3D model in Blender. Suave. So the first thing we need to do is capture that graphical data that's going to be on Chrome's Google Maps. So first we're going to download Render Docs. I'm not going to download the latest version. I'm actually going to go to other builds and go to version 1.11. So if you come down here, installer, download it, installer as per usual, and let's carry on. From here, we need to actually mod our Google Chrome shortcut. So what I'm going to do is just go right click on it. And let's go send to desktop to create a shortcut. So when we click on desktop, we'll see that we've got a Chrome shortcut here. From here, what I'm going to do is right click on it, go to properties. And now there's two lines of code that you need to copy. There'll be one if your Chrome is in the program files x86 or if it's in programs, program files, um, both of them in there. So what I'm going to do is go select all control V and paste that into the target. Now I know that mine is just in program files. So where it says C program files, I'm going to change that. Let's just get rid of the x86 and the brackets there. Let's click apply and okay. And you'll see now that the Chrome icon has changed from here. Let's open up our render doc. Okay. And I'm going to get file inject process. So nothing has actually happened here, but what we actually need to do now is close all our Google Chrome tabs. This is bad. Save this video somewhere so you can come back to it. Right click, close all windows. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is jump back onto our desktop and run that shortcut we've just created. So let's double click on that. And you can see that we've got a number that comes up, 19152. Let's press refresh, 19152. 19152, there it is. I'm gonna double click on that one to bring it there. Let's come back down onto our Google Chrome there and I'm gonna press okay. And you can see that my new window has come up and you can see that there's some crud up the top there. Let's go to, not meet. Sorry, I've been doing homeschooling. Maps.google.com. Okay, so we need to go into 3D view. Now, if you don't have 3D view enabled, not gonna work. The way to enable it is click on layers down here, more, and make sure globe view in the bottom left hand corner there is ticked. Okay, beautiful. So from here, we can see that I'm in the Canberra, but let's head off to maybe Radelaide. Let's get some big cities going. All right, so here we are in Radelaide or Adelaide. Um, I'm trying to find somewhere where there's nice big city buildings. Here we go. And if I hold control, we can see you go sideways. Now I've got this wonderful landscape of buildings. Now I want to capture this data. From here, let's go back into render docs and I'm going to click on capture frame immediately. Let's just give it a sec. Let's not, let's go back to Google Chrome and then we'll go back into render docs and you can see now that we've got our little mappy map map map. Let's go right click save. Um, I'm just going to save this somewhere temporarily into downloads. Uh, something, something, save. And that's saved as an RDC file, I believe. Now from here, we can now jump over into Blender. But first, we obviously got to download the add-on. So with the link in the description, we've opened up the GitHub. Let's come down to releases. And I'm going to download 0.41 release. Let's just come down somewhere. Whoops. Let's actually click on that one. And then we will have the maps models importer right there. Click on that to download. Now into Blender to enable the add-on, edit, preferences, install, go to your downloads, wherever you downloaded it, right there, double click on it. I've already got it installed. However, make sure that you have that tick there or it won't work. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select everything, delete, file import rdc down the bottom there let's go find where we saved our file something something rdc beautiful that sounds about right let's give it a sec to import and you can see our map has been installed installed imported let's click on the material preview and there we go look at that we can now see all our stinking buildings boo, 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 boo. now if we want to actually make this look good we can use the technique from Friday's video. So check that in the description. And this is what it's going to look like. We get this really nice view of the city of Adelaide. Uh, what's that? That's Victoria Square. That's King William Street where the tram goes. That's the uni. There's a hospital somewhere. I oh, know hospitals over there somewhere. This is the entertainment center. 
But the real cool thing is you can see that everything is in chunks. So technically what you could do is if you wanted kind of like a high resolution, you would zoom in as much as possible, render those, uh, capture those chunks and then move along and do the next bits. But there we go. That's how we can quickly go from Google Earth to Blender and create our models. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. My goodness, it helps me out. Trying to hit the 100,000, just do it.